Thanks for watching. This is Amanda, and this is A Seat at the Table, an exercise on HR strategic leadership. I'm with HRX, and this is Shortstop HR channel on YouTube. This is our third and final video in our HR series. If you haven't checked out the first two videos, you can go to our channel. As always, we welcome comments and are looking for new topics that we can explore in the HR world. Again, I had the opportunity to sit down with four amazing HR leaders in executive and VP HR roles. And based on our conversations about strategy and leadership, the following are best practice tips and tools they have used to help themselves develop into valued HR strategic leaders for their own organizations. So first, you have to start with behaviors. Trust is earned. Even if you start doing even one thing in this series tomorrow, it will still take time for change to come about. It is not an overnight transformation. It takes getting to know people and learning what struggles your leaders are facing and earning their trust takes time. More specifically, you need to know how to message your responses. We are not the old HR any longer. Things cannot always be black and white. One leader I spoke with said she always finds a way to give her leadership three options. When they seek her advice or opinion, she's careful not just to give closed-ended answers, but asks questions to find out what the goal is overall, and then works to provide three options. Now admittedly, they aren't always good options, but she makes sure to deliver them three. And for that reason, her leadership believes she's on their side. She has created a feeling of being helpful and not stressful. So once you've made good connection points and your leaders have trust in you and your abilities, it is important to remember, the people are your focus. You are focusing on the leadership, the employer, and mitigating risk, of course, but you are also working for the employees and helping to guide them through their careers while in your workplace. For that reason, if leadership suggests things that may seem not in alignment with the workplace or its values, it is up to you to ask questions and find out what the greater plan is. One of the leaders I spoke with mentioned leadership developing a plan to enhance the benefits program, but the plan design was actually less advantageous for much of the workforce. When asked why that was, the leader didn't understand some key components around both the benefit plan and the employees it would impact. It is our job as HR professionals to be looking at those details and asking questions when necessary. Honestly, leadership will appreciate it. They look to you for that information. So you wanna step in and ask questions when things don't quite add up. Work with empathy in mind. Operate from a position that people act with the best intentions. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. And if you keep trying, eventually you're just gonna drown it. So keep that in mind. How we message things is really important. And lastly, it is okay to ask questions. No one expects you to know everything. It would be impossible. And yet, I know many of us want to do our very best and feel that we should know everything. But as one leader shared with me, there's a difference between not knowing something and not having any credibility. There are distinct differences between these two things, and it is always better to honestly share when you don't know something than have to correct yourself later. The latter has far more damaging outcomes than having to admit you don't know at all. Now let's talk about our actions. First, you need to work toward understanding things for yourself. So one leader suggested that she invited herself to as many meetings as possible. Sometimes it was relevant that she was there and sometimes it wasn't, but this was her way of getting to know her leaders and her team members. It also helped her understand what difficulties they were having and if she could offer any solutions. The other thing is, is if you want to be a strategic HR leader, you're going to have to work toward your own education in HR. Unfortunately, not all of us have opportunities to work in large organizations that has a big HR team that would support your own development. So oftentimes, if you want to be a strategic HR leader, you're going to have to do that outside of the hours from 8 to 5 and outside of your workplace. 
the good news is there are a lot of places that you can help get extra education. Places like SHRM, where you can earn certifications, or HRCI. Places like Toastmasters that will help you to learn how to develop speaking skills so that you can speak with leadership confidently. But again, this starts with you. You have to be the first person that you focus on when you're starting to develop your strategic leadership skills. Next, once you feel confident in your own abilities, if you are lucky enough to have a team, then we start there. How do we function well together in the department? Who is strategic? And who is tactical or more operational? It's okay, we need operational and tactical people as well. That's not a necessary or a bad thing, but we need to have a nice combination of the two. The best place to start is with your team first because they will understand and appreciate what you're trying to do more so than anyone else. Once you then have your team on board, you're feeling confident in your own abilities, then you go to your leadership. Start asking to be involved in leadership meetings, or if you're already going, speak up and start bringing questions forward of your own that may have relevance to the solution you're trying to find. Offer to support direction and help to find those solutions to the business problems that you see you can assist in. And lastly, processes. It was once shared with me that when you write something down with a date, it becomes a goal. And a goal written down into steps becomes a plan. A plan backed by action becomes reality. I think this makes the process piece really clear. Good intentions are wonderful and can make you a nice person. But if you don't take action or follow through on what you say you are going to do, then your best intentions become irrelevant. And to your leaders in your organization, there is no place or time for that. And so for that reason, we're going to share what we have adopted to help us with our follow through. I first want to give a quick shout out to Matt Ragland, a great YouTuber sharing information on how he effectively plans out processes and organization systems for himself. This diagram shows one of his processes. In it, he says it's best to start with a theme, and this needs to be something of importance. It needs to have some relevance to you that would be significant, so it's something you can't give up easily. Secondly, he says then develop a goal. So let's say your theme is you want to be healthy. That's important to you. You want to work on your health and your personal health for your family. That's really important and that's a strong theme. So a goal to help you realize your theme is you decide you're going to run a half marathon. And so that's a great goal, but you're not going to wake up tomorrow if you haven't trained for a little bit and run 13.1 miles. So you need to develop a system or adopt some type of structure that helps you to realize your goal. And so that may be a training program that's a couch to 13.1 miles, and that gives you 90 days with which to build up your stamina and be able to run the 13.1 miles. This is how he suggests using processes in order to achieve the things that are most important to you. And truly, we found it very impactful for us as well. And that's it for this series, uh, HR, Seat at the Table. We've enjoyed ourselves putting this together and are looking forward to the next set of series that we have coming soon. If you like what you've seen, please feel free to subscribe or leave us some comments. We'd certainly be interested in exploring topics that you're interested in. HRX, and this is our Shortstop HR channel.